Hey, hope you're well and safe. HP's latest ProBook series, the 445G7, takes the same design cues as its predecessor and sprinkles some new process and magic dust at it. Boy, is it a good one. The highly anticipated AMD Ryzen 7 4700U on this review model. Is it all that it's stacked up to be? Let's find out. The ProBook 445G7 has not changed much from the G6 version, which is not a bad thing. It sticks to the aluminium and plastic combo for the build. It's pretty solid apart from a little flexing on the display lid. It has a modern silver colour, only broken by the black frame around the display. It tips the scales at 1.6 kilograms and 1.8 centimetres thick. Not bad for a 14 inch business laptop. You can easily walk around with it in your hand. The internals are fairly easy to get to. Seven Phillips head screws, Pry the bottom panel with the plastic tool and lift the panel away. Always nice to see two RAM slots available for easy upgrade of DDR4 memory. The NVMe M.2 SSD slot is present and if you need additional storage there is a 2.5 inch bay for a larger hard drive. The 45 watt hour battery is removable too. The 14 inch IPS Full HD display panel is fine for office usage. Good contrast ratio and wide viewing angles. It could do with a tad more brightness rated at 250 nits on this review model. Outdoor usage is below average at best. The single hinge is solid and folds down to 180 degrees. Useful for collaboration work. Color accuracy is rated at 45% NTSC. Not good enough for Photoshop or Lightroom type work. On the left we have a Kensington lock, USB 2.0, Type-A port and SD card reader. On the right we have a power connector, USB Type-C 3.1 Gen 1 port, Ethernet RJ45 port, HDMI, two USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports and a headphone microphone combo jack. The Wi-Fi card inside is the Intel AX200 Wi-Fi 6 2x2 and Bluetooth 5 combo. Handy when more AX routers hit the market. Wireless connection while testing was very good from short and medium ranges. Bluetooth worked well with a mouse and external speakers. The HP full size island style keyboard is spill resistant. The UK 445 models do not have backlit keys unlike our cousins in Europe and America. The keyboard is comfortable to touch type on with large spaced out keys, not too spongy typing experience and a welcome large enter key. The downside is smaller up and down keys to compensate for the design. The touchpad is a nice 11 by 6.5 cm in size, perfect for finger gestures and gliding across the smooth surface area. The two buttons have a quiet tactile feel when used. The one surprise in the 445G7 is the speakers. As laptop audio goes they're not bad, loud without too much distortion, good mid-range, lacking in bass as you would expect but useful for a spot of Stranger Things or your favourite Spotify playlist. The 720p HD webcam is the usual fare. Okay for Microsoft Teams or Zoom in good lighting, but that's about it. The start of the show is the AMD Ryzen 7 4700U APU with 8 cores and threads. It runs at a 2GHz base clock, up to 4.1GHz max boost clock. TDP is rated at 15 watts. With a Ryzen 7 4700U, 16GB of dual channel RAM upgraded from the 8GB review model, the device achieved a multi-core score of 4863 in Geekbench 5, outperforming the Intel Core i7-9850H and newer 10th Gen i7-10510U. The 4700U outclasses the Dell XPS 13 2020 with its Intel i7-1065G7 in pretty much every test and comes close on the single core benchmark. Amazing considering the XPS 13 is double the price of the ProBook 445G7. Compared to the AMD Ryzen 7 3700U, the newer 4700U is 53% better in single core performance and 97% in multi-core and Geekbench 5 benchmarking. The Ryzen 7 4700U can briefly maintain 3.5GHz in Cinebench R20 multi-thread before dropping down to 3, 3.1GHz. The good news is that it stays this way on mains power or battery during the benchmarking. What does this all mean in the real world? The 4700U can eat most things thrown at it for breakfast. For example, opening 30 odd Chrome tabs, watching a couple of YouTube videos, while streaming Spotify music with no slowdown whatsoever. The fans stay quiet for the majority of the time. When taxed, it's not too noticeable to be a distraction. With heavy workloads, the laptop does get a little warm underneath and around the keyboard, but not enough to worry about. 
The 445G7 has an AMD Radeon RX Vega 7 GPU running at up to 1600 MHz. In 3D Mark 11 benchmarking, the Vega 7 is slightly better than the NVIDIA GeForce MX350 and just behind the Intel Iris Pro Graphics 580. The GPU should benefit from fast dual channel memory to make the most out of the performance. Only some demanding games of 2019 will run in lowest detail settings like Need for Speed Heat, Apex Legends or Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Less demanding games like FIFA 2020 or Dirt Rally 2.0 should run in higher settings than 1920x1080. The ProBook has a free cell 45 watt hour battery inside. Battery life is around 8 hours in our video streaming test and 6 hours with general usage like office apps, emails, YouTube and Spotify. With heavy load, the battery life falls short of 2 hours. Luckily you can go from 0 to 69% in 1 hour with fast charging using the HP Smart 45W external AC power adapter. Typically ProBook, this 445G7 comes with IR Windows Hello authentication, fingerprint sensor and TPM security chip. On the software side there is the usual HP client security software to protect and secure your laptop. Top 3 pros and cons before buying the HP ProBook 445G7 Pulsating performance The AMD Ryzen 7 4700U 15W APU opens up exceptional performance on a mainstream business laptop complemented by a Vega 7 GPU for a bit of light gaming. Great speakers Normally you find subpar speakers on a business laptop like the 445G7 but the 2W audio is actually quite good. It's nicely loud when it needs to be and the range is good to listen to tracks on Spotify, just lacking bass as you would expect. Well built. The ProBook 445G7 passed military standard 810 testing making it a solid laptop, built to withstand shocks and bumps in the office or nowadays working from home between rooms. Why are all the ports on the right? An issue I have with the design of the I.O. ports on the 445G7 is the majority are located on the right. We had issues with larger size USB sticks causing problems with the other USB and HDMI ports either side of it. Washed out colours. The display panel is average on this review model. Colours look a bit washed out even on the highest brightness level. Seen better IPS panels out there. Need more memory. When we added an extra 8GB memory module to make it 16GB on this review model, we noticed the difference. Before, 40% was used up by Windows 10 on startup. Some of this was allocated to the Vega 7 GPU by default. Dual channel support on the Vega 7 and more memory for the 4700U to play with definitely helped and worth upgrading. If you were in the market for a 14-inch laptop, what other laptops would you be looking at? In no particular order, here are some to consider. Lenovo. E495 14 inch AMD Dell Vostro Notebooks 5490 Huawei Matebook 13 2020 The ProBook 445G7 has a gem of a processor in the AMD Ryzen 7 4700U with performance towards workstation level. Crazy that this performance is attainable at this price point. Not much else has changed from the G6. It's a solid, well built business laptop with plenty of I.O. ports, good keyboard and speakers. Upgradability is generous with dual RAM slots, M.2 and 2.5 inch storage options. To get the best out of the 4700U and Vega 7 GPU, upgrade the memory to dual channel 16GB memory. The main weakness is the display which is ok for office work but not much else. If the brightness and colour coverage was cranked up a little along with backlit keys this would be an almost perfect mainstream powerhouse business laptop. What do you guys think? Leave your comments and discuss below. Hope you guys enjoyed the review of the HP ProBook 445G7 laptop. Please click on the like button if you enjoyed this review video and subscribe if you would like to watch more of our tech videos. Thanks for watching. Cheers.